Hey guys, we're Time 6. We're back watching the originals. This is Season 2, Episode 9, The Map of Moments. If you enjoy our videos, make sure to leave a like, comment down below your thoughts, and remember to subscribe for future uploads. You can also check out our Patreon page where you can get early access and the full uncut reactions. Up to six episodes ahead, link is going to be down below. Help support the channel by checking that out, and let's get started right away. What the? What oh. the hell? That's cool. Oh, the fade into color. You're looking very dapper this evening, Cole. Though dapper. Gloves without a tailcoat. Unusual, wouldn't you oh, say, Klaus? No. I would. Unless, of course, the gloves are utilitarian in nature. I didn't realize you two lovebirds were interested in fashion. No, I can take it or leave it. Mayor Berman. Imagine walking like this in 19 time with your boys. Hey, well, I guys. think that's what they're doing. Here. Link up. Is it normal? I'm concerned about the rush of thefts in the city. So I put my cell on it. And after a little digging, I formed a theory as to our culprit. So we followed our suspect. And he led us here. Most notably, of course, the perfect Paragon Diamond. <laughs> Hand it over, Cole. Oh, shit. Oh, I wouldn't bother waiting for them. You see, those women will never leave that house again. Merry Christmas, brother. Holy shit. Why? Because they helped him? So he keeps the diamond anyways? I am here to protect you. I know you mean to, Elijah. And yet you found it necessary to render me unconscious before bringing me here. Well, you weren't yourself. And I needed to get us out of that diner. What happened back there? I don't know. Clearly, that's an issue. <laughs> Miklo sent me to protect Hope. My job is to keep her safe. You can take this seriously, or I can lock you in a coffin like your brother Finn, if you prefer. No, no, I, I'd prefer you to bugger off. Because this spell needs time to cook in peace. <laughs> Let him cook. <laughs> yeah, 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 but she's not going to jump anybody, is she? She's going to jump Rebecca, who just happens to be miles away. But, fair dues, Marcel. I think I'd be a bit testy, too, if my old ex was about to jump into my new ex. I think that would be a bit, uh... Awkward. I was going to say kinky, but... <laughs> kinky. I appreciate the chivalry, Marcel, but he'll have an easier time protecting me if he's alive. Damn. I was Holy wondering shit. where he is. Holy shit. Oh, no, it's been a minute. You're making a mess of my werewolf centuries, Michael. I've missed you, wife. Have you missed me? As much as you've missed me, I imagine. That would explain why you brought your lover back from the other side without so much as a thought of me. I will slaughter every single wolf I see until I am taken to the dog you saw fit to bring back from the dead. You can stop looking for Ansel. Klaus killed him. Klaus may not be your blood, but he certainly has picked up a few things from you along Do the way. Do not mention the bastard son! Resolution through violence. You are nothing if not consistent. Go ahead. Strike me. I imagine you've been waiting a thousand years to do so. God! <laughs> How about a... Now that you've gotten that out your system, we have things to discuss. But being away with hope made me see things differently. We're not so bad. Only mm. not the monsters that our parents think we are. All right, the parents. Here we go. Meet the parents. Daddy's home. Papa Klaus. Look at this happy family. Yeah. Happy family <laughs> of no monsters. Before we light it, we write down our wishes for each other to burn for luck. It was Cole's favorite part when we were kids. There's further evidence as to why we should ignore it. <laughs> first bonfire season. I like it. We're doing it. You have my fake therapist locked in that coffin. <laughs> what better way to spend my potential final hours? I need to talk to him. You're not talking to Finn. Maybe he'll listen. Maybe he'll call his mom off. It's a million to one, but it's better than doing nothing. I said no, Cammy. <laughs> Marcel. That wasn't very convincing. I am hours away yeah, from there was no authority in that. <laughs> I highly he suggest you avoid city trying to control kind of me between now and then. I wish you would tell Elijah you're marrying your werewolf suitor at which point I will pour him a scotch and congratulate him on the bullet. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> wow. I rate it. Hey, you can't disrespect tradition, okay? <laughs> this guy's wild. I will not be tempted by your beauty, nor will I be blinded by your empathy. 
Take I would have appealed to your morals, but I'll those take... seem to be all over the map. I'm not the one who was sleeping with one vampire while half in love with another. Oofta. Your morality is a moving target. Mine is not. But I do not believe in redemption. Hmm. I believe in right and wrong. That's interesting. I believe in good and evil. Maybe in some comic book universe. You don't even see it, but I'm trying to help people like you. I don't believe you. Then that is to your peril, because when I'm free, I will not stop until every single vampire in New Orleans has ceased to exist, and I will show no mercy to anyone who dares stand with them. Oh, dang. That's a declaration of war. Not even you. To start over. To live a mortal life. Have a child of my own if I choose. Cursed, as your first born yeah. to believe the story. Not if I am no longer Michelson blood. See, this is the beauty of mother. Oh shit! Sometimes you didn't think of that. Darkest deeds. It's not the same blood like. Mm -hmm. It's difficult to refute. Mm, you have a point. It's a lovely Damn. fantasy, Elijah. Rebecca, you and I both know what mother is capable of. Now I do wonder if she would relent and leave us be. Now what if all the mother needs is a victory? Let her find it somewhere else. Besides, she wants all three of us. She has Cole, she has Finn. Perhaps, in the end, a simple majority will do. Turns out stubborn she is. Yeah. That's an she seems pretty stubborn. Back in Christmas 1914. Flashback? Oh. Yeah. Is this back to the stealing Let's age? go. That's such a good transition. Yeah. What if I said I'm close to finishing a dagger that would work on him? We wouldn't dare use it. Why? It's no more than he's done to us. You've suffered at his hands more than anyone. And it's not like we'd be killing him. Been getting Just giving you some time to be with Marcel. You can count me in. But do hurry downstairs. And throw on one of Nick's jackets. He'll notice your absence if you're late. I sense a betrayal coming. Yep. Or treachery. Even <laughs> more treachery. <laughs> treachery. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Baby, you're not like that. Was Rebecca covering the... I mean, it's I coming. I wish that it could always be like this. <laughs> Wishes were horses. Beggars would ride. If it was always like this, the show would be boring. Yeah. Damn, that's clear as fuck. You, you really see, uh, do you see Klaus? Yeah. He's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Elijah's face is funny. You yeah. can't risk it falling into the wrong hands. Oh shit! That's Max. Burn it. You just created evidence. Now they're gonna burn it. Yeah. Yep. There it is. That's bad vibes. That's what Hillary wanted. Yeah. Yeah, that's actually kind of fucked up if you think about it's it. Super yeah. fucked. It's a family pick, you know? We deserve this. We've earned this. I know what to do to stop Esther. Rebecca, no. I'm gonna take her deal. And when I do, I'm taking her down with me. Hmm. Oh. Interesting. It might happen, but I don't think it's gonna happen into Cammy. She will be distracted during the spell. She'll be vulnerable. No. If we kill her, she body jumps. Then stop her from jumping. If I knew how to bloody stop her from jumping, don't you think I would have happily murdered her ages ago? Well, ages ago, you didn't have a Harvest Girl or a Michelson witch. Cole knows all of her traits. I mean, that's what you're saying, isn't it? You're willing to lose. I'm willing to risk losing, yes. Rebecca, we've been together for centuries. If you were human... When I'm old and wrinkly, you can dump me back into my old body. Nick already has a coffin he can store me in. Hmm. But to trust Cole. It's not about trust, Elijah. It's about finding the proper leverage. I don't entirely hate this plan. Yeah. If you want me to find a new body for Rebecca, I want the foline diamond you stole from me back in 1914. <laughs> What do you plan to do with it? I need a weapon I can use to protect myself against Klaus. And the diamond helps me make it. It's not to kill him, it's simply a matter of self-defense. Only to be used out of absolute necessity. Fair trade, Marcel. We get free of my wackadoodle mum. I acquire the means by which to defend myself Marcel against still want the volatile power? brother. Should the need arise. Most likely. And, uh... Cause then it might be appealing. There's some interesting propositions happening. Yeah. And what is it? My wolves. I think I figured out a way to release them from the witches. Control their turning without the rings the and bring peace to our home. So the mouth is always open. I hope swear. could return to us. <laughs> Why'd you say it, Kyle? That was a glass shatter. <laughs> he can't help Why himself. Have to marry Jackson. Oh, she said it. It's a, um, a mystical ceremony and then an alpha bonding ritual. Alpha bonding ritual, bruh. I mean, it sounds like nonsense. You have to know that this isn't about him. I don't love Jackson, but at the same time, I couldn't marry him 
can still be involved with you. Whoa. <laughs> I'm getting engaged. No, you're not. There I am. Oh? The only way that the city will be safe for Hope's return is if you have unified your people and I have unified my own. And Davina will eventually lead her witches. And whatever that girl may be, she is no enemy to your child. This is my wish for you. Vin Diesel will not be happy. <laughs> what? Bro, Damn, like, man. Family, bro, you're just gonna be all your pining family, like. Who's Angelica Barker? Uh, one of my vampire potentials. Had to turn her down. She was too lost. Does she know what's about to happen to her? It's better when they don't know, love. Hopefully, we won't have to use her. Hopefully. But then my mother is a wily and vindictive woman. Wily? Just why I've got to ask something else of you. Well, I haven't been back in a while. And the only way she won't suspect me is if I bring back the thing that I was sent to find. And that thing is? The White Oak Stake. Are you out of your mind? Caleb. That's two weapons. Look, it's the only way yeah. she's going to trust me. She doesn't want to kill them. She just wants to make sure that... It's a lot too much trust, yo. Hands. I swear, as soon as she's gone, we'll give it right back to Klaus. Like hell you will. Yeah, all right. Deal's off. We are doing this for the good of our family. Do I have your word that for once you will honor that? You have my word, Nick. I swear on the faith of us all. I'll get the stake. So where's Finn? You're playing emperor to his merry pack of dogs. I'm afraid Finn may have fallen into the hands of your brothers. But I've made a plan to assist him with that dilemma while I continue my search for Rebecca. It really is you. I would know that smirk anywhere. You keep the same smirk? <laughs> That's funny. As each of you comes to your senses and takes my offer, I will destroy your vampire bodies. Mother, you said you wanted the stake to protect them. Yes, but not in their current bodies. Once they accept my offer, I will be righting two wrongs. Oh. Having brought this evil into the world. Uh-oh. Then having subjected my own children to it. No, that wasn't the deal. Stop the spell. The spell is already done. I prepared it to be locked in the moment I turned over the hourglass. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Your beautiful soul will live on in the body of another. Oh, boy. I have chosen well for you. A beautiful girl. Strong. Mother! Stop the spell. Treacherous. This guy pulled up like he's in Bollywood. Take me instead. Nick, no. If only you'd taken my offer when it was still mine to give. Unfortunately, you've left me no choice but to make a deal with Michael. Oh, shit. Is he here? All he wanted was the right to kill you. Cole, I would ask you to deliver the stake to your father. But it seems your loyalties have been compromised. Stop the spell, Esther! No, it's okay, Nick. I can do this. So you're feeling murderous again. You should know. I've already chosen another body. What did Cole do? No! Oh. What's the other body? She's not here. Yeah, no. What are they doing? Okay. Oh, no. Wow, Cammy? Yeah. What the hell? Well, from one blonde to another blonde. Did it work? Do believe blonde. I have no idea. Once she's up, we need to get her out of the quarter. She's not safe here. Somebody busted Finn out. My mother is using Michael to do her dirty work now. <gasps> New body. Who this? I want to hear the accent. Well, that's I be... suddenly love that stupid name. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, so it didn't work. Rebecca and I took extra precautions. Esther is exactly where she needs to be. You're here with my brother. A word of advice. A witch as lovely as you has no business dating Cole. Oh, it's not really a date. You can do better. Now we invite you chosen few to join us in our family's own tradition of writing wishes for each other and burning them for luck. The holidays are a time for celebrating family and friends. It is especially gratifying in times when treachery runs deep. Treachery, treachery. not the treachery. Someone you can trust. To Rebecca. To Rebecca. 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 We need a treachery counter. Yeah. Take a shot every time. Treachery. Another mm -hmm. word? Yeah. Not gonna hurt me own sister. I didn't exactly prep Angela Barker either. Oh shit. Prep someone else. <gasps> Who's your prep? You see, Klaus didn't just punish me for stealing the diamond. He also punished my witch friends, locking them in the Dowager Foley Cottage. 
Oh, over the decades, it's become quite a catch-all for an assortment of odd birds of the witchy variety. I'm sure Rebecca would be very comfortable in a prison created by Klaus. <gasps> you didn't. A prison world? You swear she's safe. Perfectly. Since this is the best day I've had in the past two centuries, I've made a wish for you. That's your wish? How old is she supposed to be? 16. 17 now, I think. You who sold me to that butcher Michael like I were nothing more than chattel. Ask me what I have done. You taught me exactly how I should treat you. Damn! You must be feeling a little twitchy right about now. It's what happens when you're in transition. <gasps> Boy. Oh! Oh, shit! Oh, Let's welcome to the team. Oh, but it is. You see, you may have thought you were one step ahead of us, but the truth is Rebecca was two ahead of you. Oh, so the hurt. When the am wine? I obvious, then, mother? When you're doing as you're told. Oh. <laughs> you died with vampire blood in your system. It's a delicious irony. Because as you know, you cannot be both witch and vampire. So that's why she couldn't jump? So now, you can either be the thing you hate the most, or you can be dead. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> That was a chess move. That hold was. that. He said, hold that. Not Checkmate, the, bitch. Class move right there. Which is more than you ever gave us. Oof. Yeah, that's gotta hurt. Oh, played, lady. Promise is a promise. All right. All right, Cole. I like it. I mean, he was still devious. He still has a secret. <laughs> huh? Wait. Uh, is this the body? It must yeah. be Angelica, or whatever. Yeah. Oh, it's that house, yeah, right? Yeah. Someone! Cole! Damn it! I'm not meant to. Oh, I'm I get it. Michelson. I'm Rebecca Michelson! Let me out! I'm Rebecca Michelson! That's a nicely structured house. Yeah, it is. All right, thanks for watching the reaction portion of the video. Make sure to stay tuned for the discussion. If there's any part of the episode that we weren't able to keep in the YouTube edit, click the link down below for the full uncut reaction over on Patreon, and let's discuss now. So, the map of moments. I think that was a pretty good episode. I don't have many complaints, yeah. and I'm usually full of them. Uh, my favorite scene. Mm. I think it has to be the Cole flashbacks. Ooh, okay. Specifically with Rebecca, and then we learned what happened with Rebecca. So that was super intriguing for me because, like, Cole is right. Like, it's always those three, and then he's on the side. And that is how the viewer sees it, too. But now we get a little more introspective on the dynamic where Rebecca's always going to choose Klaus, it seems. Mm -hmm. when, at least relative to, you know, Cole. So that's super interesting. Another one is the Klaus chess move, bro. Bro. That was convincing, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He was pretending that it didn't work. Yeah, you and I thought it didn't work. I yeah, like, I, I was like, shit. I was like, okay, Rebecca bungled it, or... Someone bungled it. Or like, uh... <sighs> Esther had the upper hand. I don't know. And I thought she jumped, honestly. Yeah, me too. Yeah, me too, so 100%. Like, I, I thought that either went into Marcel's thing, right? Or... Bro, I thought if it okay. went into Cammy, it would have been temporary. Okay, from, from now on, any witch that says it's impossible to break this, they're lying. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That, that's it. It this can't is be broken. Original witch. Mm -hmm. If she said, if what she said about... that and it didn't work, so... <laughs> Mm -hmm. Let me just. What about Cole saying he can't unlink Bonnie and Elena? Oh God! Mm. Oh God! Yeah, but mm. he's lying. <laughs> yeah, he's just lying. <laughs> All right. Okay. And they can't do anything about Anyways, it. Anyways, uh, yeah, those are my favorite moments. Also, I like the little like the moments with the family at the what was the farmhouse, whatever that was. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that was good times. Least favorite. Mm. Like, you know have, what it's gonna be. We all have one of these favorite. What, Haley and Elijah? Yeah. Yeah. 
There's no point in reiterating that. It's yeah. not. Mm-hmm. Well, actually, they actually literally brought it up in this episode. It's just, yeah, it's it's not meant to happen. It's not supposed to happen. It doesn't even make much sense for it to happen on either side. It's and yet it's happening way. anyways. Yeah. I'm not a like, fan of it. The sooner it passes, the better. And the other one, I think I'm a little confused on the Rebecca situation. Just because I thought he didn't prime. From whose perspective? Wait, okay. I think I'm just misunderstanding the flashback. Okay. The first flashback, the girls that were trapped in the house. Yeah. That was not the same girl that we saw in the end, right? Or was it? No, it was. It was? Yeah. Okay, that's what I'm confused. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So he primed someone else. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what that was. Yeah. Well, okay, here's the thing. I don't know what happened. Because that's not Angelica. Exactly. That's no, not no, no, it's not. It's not. Yeah. Okay, that's all, okay. That was my own. Decision. Either because either on the one hand, this is like some next level crazy play, and somehow he managed to like send her back in time, and the reason oh, why no, she wasn't that. able to get out Jonathan. then was because it was actually Rebecca. It's like some sort of like next level crazy thing. But that would be insane. No. But I think the more likely thing is that she's in some sort of like suspended like punishment realm, kind of like the Phoenix Stone or or uh, Kai's uh, Hell World or Lily's Hell World, something like that. It looked like Monique for a second. It yeah, did. yeah, 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 did. Did, did, did. I was like, oh, shit. Monique. He brought her back. But okay, well, we'll talk more about yeah. it so the, I can understand it better. The only those thing are my moments. that I yeah. don't quite understand from the... Oh, I didn't even get my moments here, did I? No, no, we're yeah, still, still like... Yeah, my still uh, favorite moments just had to be the little chess move. What, um, Klaus did. The little chess? The big chess move. Turned his mom... Guys making plays. ...into part of his team. Welcome to the club, you know? Called the Uno Reverse. That's pretty cool. Uh, least favorite, yeah, it's just, you know, fucking Elijah and Haley just sketch just says family, but he's not doing something that the opposite of family would do. Also, the fact that they burned that, they took that picture and burned it. I'm like, bro, that's some bad vibes, you know? That's fact. That, that, that is bad vibes. Honestly, <laughs> like, it but is at least evidence. they called it out, right? Yeah. So, yeah. That's it. I like how things are, are uh, playing out, especially when it comes to Esther and Klaus and that stuff. I'm glad we don't have that. Okay, we kind of did with the werewolves and oh, she told Elijah that we're getting married. But see, this episode we got no werewolves, no jacks. And we're happy. And we're happy. <laughs> Despite one thing, but we're yeah. happy. Um, they this show they really do that transitions well from present time to flashbacks. They did it twice this episode. I think they should keep doing that. Was well, this like a special director or something? Yeah, maybe. No. Like, that was I'll sick. check it out after. Yeah. My least is the Elijah and Haley stuff. It's because... Okay, so now I just realized why I don't like it. It's because they don't like it. Who? They're not enjoying it. Elijah... So when you root for a couple to be to be together, it's because they're, they want to be together and they're happy together and they're having fun together, right? These two do not want to be next to each other. They hate it. Like every scene they're in, they're like, oh, do I actually want to do this? They're so uncomfortable and it's just not enjoyable. You so know why would anyone want to see that? And together? part of that, like, I get what you're saying and it could be intentional, but I still hold the same opinion that I said earlier, that they don't have the chemistry. No, not no. only do they not have the chemistry, Haley literally brought it up in the dialogue. She said, and I quote something along the lines of, Oh, I know that we haven't really been like intimate lately. Like as if well, they that was because like... of when she turned, he, he kind of like shut her off, right? That's what she's talking about. That but the point is, is that there has been she pretty much verbally confirmed that there, there was a lack of chemistry between the two of them for a certain duration. I have a different reason why I don't like it, but I'll say it after. Yeah. Um, no, I I just don't like it from the previous reason. But mm-hmm. my favorite scene this episode, though, actually I'm gonna start my least favorite scene. My least favorite scene is the deal between Esther and Michael. Um, I just honestly, I really wanted them to mobilize uh, Michael's character a little bit better. I mean, to me, Michael wanting to kill Klaus is not an important reveal from a deal. Like that's that's kind of the information we have on hand. Oh, I get what you're saying. So it doesn't really bring anything new to the table. And yeah, if Michael was there and attacking, it would have been exactly that would have been yeah, slightly different. Saying. It would have been added to the stakes, but nothing happened. You know, he just like literally well, nothing Finn happened. got released. So yeah, um, something happened. Yeah, something didn't happen. As for my favorite part of the episode, it's hard to say, but I guess it was honestly 
the the Michelson moments. So two in particular. The first one has to be the picture uh, at the cabin. Like it's unfortunate that that, it, that they had to burn it, but that's like one of like the most genuine moments we've had in like the entire show so far. The most natural feeling. Yeah, natural, yeah, genuine, just, yeah. authentic moment. And um, I also really enjoy seeing Happy Klaus. Yeah. So, Happy Klaus, he's like, he's got this banter, like everything he yeah, says. Like, kind of Bailey, like, yeah. bro. We need more of that. Yeah, yeah. yeah that was Honestly, good. That was and like good. him and Elijah, like like the back in the day, like the goon squad where they just pull up and bully anyone. Like yeah. they cannot be stopped. I'll come in fucking walk part. arms. That's yeah, literally. It's trying to get bullied. <laughs> literally. Yeah, it's fucking. Yeah, so just piggybacking off of that. Um, yeah, I definitely enjoy Happy Klaus, but like everyone, that's where the chemistry hits, you know? Mm-hmm. Everyone just fucking being normal, and it doesn't feel like a like a drama. Like it is a drama, mm-hmm. but it doesn't feel like that forced TV writing. Yeah, it just feels like okay, well, we're just watching a family hang out, and I mean, I said it during the episode. If this was the case all the time, we'd have no show. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Either way so let's just get the Haley stuff out of the way, or the Eliza. I refuse to use the ship name. Because I don't ship it. <sighs> Alright. So the main reason we don't like it. Lack of chemistry and because of the situation, right? Mm-hmm. <sighs> the morals. Yeah. The morals, the ethics, the everything. The bro code, you name it, it's broken. The bro code too, oh my god. Everything. It's not just that. Because... I did see a comment where someone was comparing it to Damon and Stefan. Because Damon took Stefan's girl, right? I guess. And they're like, oh, you guys are rooting for Damon. It's like, yeah, but Damon's Damon. We expect him to be a little shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, like, Elijah. Elijah's whole character. Oh, noble. <laughs> I'm noble. Yeah. I'm true to my word. I'm family. Family, yeah. Yeah. He's supposed to be upstanding. <laughs> so it's not about the actual act. It's about the act coming from someone else. Absolutely. Who we hold to a higher regard. Mm-hmm. And, and you could say that's unfair, but bro, that's life. No, There's more. Are yeah, you the kidding? Baby. Yeah, that too. That's the completely baby. fair. No, because a lot of people will, a, no, a lot of people would say that that's like a double standard, right? It's like, yeah, life has double standards. Get over it. Well, some people have different expectations because of the different qualities they bring. So yeah, yeah. it takes a certain level of narrow mind. The reason I don't conclusion. like it personally is it destroys Elijah's character. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. But he said it was true. What? It's actually worse than a Damon and Stefan because they have a baby together, bro. Yeah, this is a different step. Worse. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Holy! Like when that baby grows up, what's he <laughs> supposed to call Elijah or she? Sorry. Yeah, and yeah, the uncle. And David. Uncle. Like, <laughs> Dunk- <laughs> Dunk- <laughs> Dunk- <laughs> Dunk- <laughs> Dunkin' Donuts. And also, wh- he be dunking it. You know, one of the reasons. Really- one of the reasons why we love David is because he's apologetic about who he is. He's not trying to protect some image or trying to like. You know, maintain a certain vibe or demeanor. He is who he is. He fucks mm-hmm. up, and when he does, he's he says that's who he is. You know. I'm gonna be honest. People don't, don't want to hear this, but Damon's fucking funny. Damon is funny. Dude, he's hilarious. No, but no, people don't want to hear it because that's not a valid reason to like give someone a pass. And it's like, okay, sure, like you have a point there, but at the end of the day, he gets the pass because he's funny and he's likable. It's a show. Mm-hmm. Get over it. <laughs> so that's how I feel about it. But I don't think there's a com- com- comparison at all. No, me either. So, so Elijah's a fraud then. Like, a fraud? Yeah. He is a fraud. He's a fraud. A bro. fraud? He is a fraud. No, he's a fraud. <laughs> Who is he frauding? <laughs> his own family. This guy comes in with fraud. his own family thing. His family and knows about this. Next thing you know, he's sleeping with his brother's fucking baby moms. Yeah. You know? Yeah, but yeah, so so that's the one reason. That's the one reason right. I don't like it, which is the uh, destruction of Elijah's character. Second is, we talked about the chemistry. Third, the baby. Mm-hmm. Fourth. Is there a fourth? There's only one more. It's like we said it last time. I think. I'm how many, t- t- how many times is Klaus going to be betrayed by his family? This is betrayal too. Well, now he's you know? kind of okay with it, but yeah. Elijah doesn't fight. Klaus doesn't care yeah. about this. Now he yeah. doesn't care as much. He doesn't care. Yeah. That was another point we had last time. Uh, what? The fact that he never fights? But, no, that was. No, that was. No, else. he's talking about I'm talking Haley about the, and the relationship. Elijah. Why we don't like it, but. But bro, three seasons. Uh, three three reasons, reasons is enough, enough, man. That yeah. should be more than mm-hmm. enough. So, now that that's out the way, hopefully it never comes back. Yep. 
Uh, I mean, uh, apparently they, they broke it off, but... Nah, yo. No He's gonna way. stay a side thing. That was the opposite of breaking it off. Yeah. That was, like, reconfirming it, yeah. if anything. And That's show basically... for the sneaky link. They're gonna, yeah. And then, gonna... oh, please. and then Jax is gonna realize the... The fodiness. The ritual isn't working because she's not faithful. Yeah. Like, bro. It's, it's all gonna crumble. Because she has to be a, a good wife, right? Look at him. That's Otherwise the face of someone work. that's crumbled. Right? Isn't that the case? Isn't it isn't, isn't, uh, like magic? That this so, is already cheating. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, they didn't get married yet. No, but yeah, she's they did. betrothed. Wait, they did? No, yeah. they're betrothed. It's different. They're not married. But they're betrothed. So if she does something, it's cheating. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I don't know how that works. But I thought, that, uh, I thought until they actually get married, like uh, with the shaman or whatever, does the spell... Not spell, whatever. It is. Okay, yeah, maybe that magic works what I mean. at a different, yeah. with a different technology. Yeah. But to anyone with a brain, it's cheating. <laughs> so if you can't announce to the world, "Oh, I'm marrying this guy," <laughs> go fuck someone. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> that's what happened. Mm -hmm. You know. <laughs> Not just announced to the world. You're announced to his tribe. You know, mm -hmm. this is his pack. So. And she hooked up with her like ex-boyfriend, pretty much. What? Haley. Healy, Elijah. Yeah, they're pretty right. much exes. Like, what? Since extent. when? Well, nah, I never dated. Okay, that's well. not, okay. Yeah, they right, just had right, some right. makeouts. They have some history. No, but I gotta just say, yeah, it's, it's worse if it's, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, let's talk about the good shit now, because that was the only bad thing, right? Yep. All right. Now, the meat. I want to give prop, props to Klaus because he's been on it lately. No yeah, emotional been... decisions, no impulsive decisions. Oh, yeah. He's got a plan. Facts. He actually does it. He's never like angry. He, the only reason he was acting weird here was because he was pretending that, oh, his plan didn't work, but he knows that, oh, this shit is working. I got this bitch, you know? Yeah, that's true. He's, yeah. he's, he's not been as on childish it. Yeah. anymore mm -hmm. and erratic. Compared to Elijah, who's been killing people at the restaurant, and well, that's for a reason, cause yeah. like that, I don't think that's his fault. No, no, by like, he yeah, I know it's not his fault. Yeah. I know, but just yeah, imagine they were both like that. That would have been mm -hmm. a disaster, right? By at least Klaus yeah. is level-headed. But even though Klaus got the big win in this episode, I actually think it's a uh, this episode is a highlight for Cole. Because cool, yeah. we got some big developments. Mm -hmm. yeah. Not just the backstory, but also the commitment when he gave the snake back. Yeah. And he's kind of like, he's part of the family now. Even though he was a little sleazy. Uncle with, Cole. Yeah, Uncle Cole. Damn. Uncle. <laughs> Uncle. <laughs> Uncle. 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 <laughs> Fuck. That's funny. All right. So, yeah, let's talk about that then. The... What was it called Paragon Diamond? The Paragon, Paragon Diamond. Diamond. Yeah. It's a cool name. Or I like the name. So it could be used to make a dagger that can subdue and or petrify Klaus, right? That's what that was? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Got it. I mean Yeah, he got it. Uh he I think it, I think for now they're gonna be okay. Well I'm sure Klaus will do some shit. You know what the, the thing about that, like I get why he wants to have it. It's like it's like he says, it's like a self defense. Yeah, yeah. Like if Klaus goes off the rails, at least I have it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But that's a one time use. <laughs> if you bring Klaus back and he's like, What the fuck you do to me? He's not stopping yeah, until no, he gets that down. Oh for sure. Mm -hmm. It's it's only a one time use. But you know what else is possible? Now that Davina's getting closer and closer to Caleb uh, slash Cole. I'll call him Cole. And we know that Davina has a personal vendetta against Klaus. I mm. think it's possible that if Cole inherits a weapon that can be used against Klaus... You might just pressure him to use it. Yeah, or Davina might just take it and use it herself if, like, you know, she's in her own personal yeah, situation with him. Too, yeah. yeah, Oh, she just might do that, actually. She might she subvert might. him and just go and do something and fuck everything <laughs> up. Yeah, because then that's kind of, that kind of, like, gets her out of that dilemma of Marcel and Josh dying, right? Yeah, because mm -hmm. for whatever reason, I trust Cole more than Davina. Petrified. So, mm -hmm. uh, it works just like the dagger, right? Hmm? The, the dagger's dagger. for the others, like when he does it to Elijah or Rebecca. Okay. They just stay in the coffin, like, right. you know, great. But up. this is for Klaus. Yeah, because it never works on So Klaus. this would work for uh, Davina. 
Because Davina yeah. is trying oh, to sure. unlink Klaus from his the people he turned. So mm. if you take him down and without killing uh, Josh and Marcel, so yeah, that would work. Uh, yeah. So let's go to the mom last. Esther, let's yeah. talk about Rebecca. Okay. Oh. Because she has some big developments. Well, yeah. Well, Rebecca and Elijah, when they had their conversation earlier, Elijah actually gave us an angle that we never really thought about, which is if they choose to take Esther's deal, they no longer have to fear Esther's sister anymore. And that's kind of a workaround oh, yeah. for the curse. That's actually a big point that kind of feels like a throwaway line, but hopefully it comes back. Yeah, it's a huge deal. That's yeah, a huge deal, actually. Because if they can actually do, like, I don't know, that might be an, an avenue worth, like, going down because like the generational curse is like infinitely worse in comparison right mm -hmm. but again that's at the cost of your mortal body but then you could probably turn again right maybe i don't know no, actually no, you couldn't that was her plan was that you couldn't turn anymore oh but, that's um, part of it yeah i'm pretty sure okay i, I think that if like you, you accepted be... her deal you could no, but even order. if you turn you're not going to be an original you, you'll just be a basic level one vampire mm -hmm. her thing was to eradicate them right so You'd I, be so shit at being a vampire that Josh could kick your ass. Oh my god, imagine that. <laughs> but yeah, but Rebecca, I guess it low-key made sense for her because... Well, it always made sense for her because oh, yeah. even in Vampire Diaries, she wanted the cure. Yeah. You know? Because it seems she wants that family life. And even like when they were hanging out as a family, I think it was her that said, oh, I wish it was always like this or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. She said it. So we know what her... What she yearns for. Yeah, what her drives are. And it makes sense. I kind of want Dahlia to come back. Oh, she's totally I wonder who back. they're going to cast for Dahlia. Because mm -hmm. this is like one of the things you can't fuck up. Like, they're like really amping her up. Yeah. You know? I think it's either going to be the old actor or someone else. I mean, obviously it's going to be... What old actor? Like, uh, oh, the one from the flashback? Flash yeah. Oh, I wouldn't mind that actually. But. Because, like, we, obviously, we would need a reason for it not to be her. So, like, for example, say she died and then was brought back as well, like through yeah. some like Esther shenanigans. There's no reason for her not to. Be yeah, because for her. Esther, the reason was that the kids would recognize her, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But the kids ain't recognizing Dahlia. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Esther might if she lives, but yeah, they don't rem later. remember their auntie. That's true. Yeah, but yeah quickly on Rebecca, let's just, uh, close that off. So, we got a flashback in the beginning, where. Whoever helped Cole was imprisoned in that mansion, yeah. right? Yeah, and that was like his two witch friends. Yeah, that was two witch friends. And those are the... Did they like live this long until now or like what's happening here? That's the million dollar question. Where's the other one? Actually, that whole scene was very confusing um, because... So when Klaus and Elijah pull up to the mansion, right? And they confront Cole on the front steps. They're like, oh... I, we, the mayor asked us to look into it and we followed you and we know that you're doing all this stuff and like you better stop that but and they took away his diamond but they also locked the people in but we don't know what locking the people in actually means but klaus alluded that they would never leave that house ever again which means they're probably going to die mm -hmm. but that's how they're going to but how they're going to die that's a more important question well i thought they'd die from starvation oh that's they just literally thought, can't yeah. leave so they just starve in there oh yeah. that's fucked isn't mm -hmm. that like I feel like that was the basic. Unless they can call That's like, pretty fucked. Uber Eats or something. And maybe they can't use their magic so they can't like turn shit into food. Damn. Okay. Uh, like imagine turning this into cheese. Like, oof. They could do that. Some good shit. Some mozzarella cheese. Cheese. <laughs> Bro, not? you could have picked that. Cheese has some good nutrients. Swiss what do you cheese, mean? Swiss cheese is fire. It has protein. It has fucking... Bro, it's milk. So... You guys are sure that the last... The girl in the end was the first witch. One of them, right? Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. There's the blondie from the party, and then there's her. I'm pretty I'm sure. I'm not hundred percent sure. I'm not hundred percent sure confused. either, but I don't know. Yeah. Okay, let's not talk about it since we're confused. So Esther caught the L. She, she got she the went L. down. That's what you get for working with Michael. That's what I'm saying. You know what? Your point that you made before about how you can't really take the witch's words at their face value is totally right. I mean. Esther oh, talks sure. a big game, but like she got clowned here. I mean, even after she caught on that Cole was probably subverting her expectations, they still couldn't do anything. She couldn't do anything about it. She needs. She's like, oh, 
So now I know what you and your brother were up to all this time. And she still got murked. Like, like what? <laughs> so it's like, what? Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, I got what you're saying. But honestly, like, with what the outcome was, I'm not as bothered by it. Oh, know? yeah. Because it, there's a big deal. Mm -hmm. So what do you guys think? Is she going to let herself die or turn to oh. the dark side? Because that's the big question. Here's the thing. Honestly, I think she is going to die. And I think her death is going to like send Finn into overdrive. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, Finn and Michael working together now? That might oh, work. Oh, man. Maybe. I can see that I can see that. I can see that. I'm kind of over that. Esther. So Esther's done. After I, I gotta this. hope. Like I, I'm hoping that she's done. Like dies or whatever. Well, they leveled her this episode. And then get yeah. Dahlia instead. She literally lost. And so now... yeah, she lost. The only problem is even with Michael, like he doesn't have the stake. Mm -hmm. So first, it's the mission of finding the stake, and then, you know, unless he comes up with something else. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you think she's gonna die? I think so. I think it's over for her, honestly. Because her story is not going anywhere. Like, that's it. This is what she wanted. She didn't get it. Mm -hmm. That's it. The only way I can see it going... Actually, I don't actually see it going this way, but I'm just, like, trying to make it go this way. Is if she turns. Mm -hmm. Because Dahlia is back, and she wants to protect the first generation. That would make it interesting if she turns. Yeah. She's like, oh, I'm a vampire. At least yeah. I can do something. Yeah. I don't see it happening. Because, like, her hatred is so, like, for the vampires and supernaturals is so high. Yeah. But there's a baby, so maybe your priorities shift. That's true. You know? Hmm. So as a vampire, what but, would she be able to do? She doesn't have any... Well, she'd, she'd be a level one vampire, but yeah, so you like still have the strength and the speed, you know? Like a you fresh turn. Yeah. It's better than having no one, you know? Cool. And she can start wearing leather jackets now, too. So that's a yeah. huge upgrade. All right, thanks for watching our reaction for the originals. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and comment down below your thoughts. We'll see you in the next episode. Peace.